Hello everybody, I'm Lou, or in the end, like I call myself here on YouTube. Uh, I hope that the glare is not that bad, but um, I still want to get something out right away. So I was going to do a reaction to the first clip for the live-action Cowboy Bebop series that's coming on Netflix, but they just, or yesterday, they released the first trailer. So... <sighs> I guess I'm going to have to review that. As I stated in my reaction to the um, opening during that Netflix event that happened a few weeks ago, I am not really that excited for the show. My main concern is that I don't want this show, no matter how good it is, to keep people from checking out the anime. Cowboy Bebop is the pure example of what anime is and what it can be. You know, it is more than just an animation. It is a medium that can be enjoyed by everybody. And Bebop is the kind of show that... I feel like will surprise people because of how great the storytelling is. And though it is not perfect, yes, there are things that, you know, could be changed to make it better. I personally would just have left it alone, you know? Given that Cowboy Bebop is still my favorite anime, I feel like I just have to see how this turns out, you know, just <laughs> for my own sake. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and react to the first trailer. My reactions aren't the best, but I mean, I'll just try to give my, you know, quick thoughts. And if I forget someone's name from the anime, I am sorry ahead of time, because I am terrible with names. Let's, uh, dive in, shall we? So what brings you back from the dead? A week ago, I did a job. A bounty. I had a partner, believe it or not. He know what you used to be? Will I ever see you again? They tried to kill me, Anna. If you need to find me. I go by Spike Spiegel these days. It's still pretty cool. In this solar system. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so weird seeing it in live action. It's not happy anymore. Spoken like a man who's never been in love. I was. What happened? I was dreaming. What do you say, fellas? You want to team up? I was thinking a 60-40 split. Going my way, of course. Do not shoot her. Please, no. Hmm. What the actual fuck? <laughs> We're a team. Two to three of us. We'll grab some bounties. Please, I just Where's Ed? God damn it, Spike. This <gasps> How dare you? <laughs> They're using my favorite quote. No! <laughs> They're hitting me in the membrane, damn it. In the memory membranes. The nostalgia is hitting hard. Alright, alright, whoa, whoa, okay. That um that hit hard in the nostalgia. Um I got things to say now. Alright. <laughs> the opening that happened a couple weeks ago that I reacted to, um I don't feel like well, in comparison, I didn't feel like I had much to say, but now I do. Now that I actually see how everything is in motion, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Which might be good news on my part, knowing that, like, you know, like, I'm not exactly too excited for the show to be great. Now watching it, and it's, of course, I can't just judge it by a trailer. Something about it feels off. I mean, granted, I see what they're doing. There is an aesthetic to it that is very, like, um... Uh, spaghetti western in a way that's you know well i kind of like you know a cop cowboy bebop given cowboy bebop cowboy um it's like you know 
a western in space and whatnot, and um, it's got that feel to it. It's like you know, like you know, classic Hollywood, you know, feel to it. That's something like you know that I can see from like Quentin Tarantino to Robert Rodriguez in a way, um, in terms of like how some of the scenes look like they're filmed. Like that, uh, there's this like shot up here, and the um, uh, which shot is it right here? Okay, right here. You know, uh, I'm gonna turn the volume down. What happened? No, shut up. Uh, right here, yeah, yeah, like uh, all this stuff here happening on a on a rooftop right here. Something about it, just about the way it's filmed, and I don't know if it's just because it's the lighting, but it looks like it's something that's um, that reminds me of like Kill Bill, uh, in a way. A lot of it actually looks like it's trying to replicate the feel of the anime, like almost perfectly, which might be kind of an issue. There are some shots that legitimately look good, like. Uh, like some of the, you know, space shots, uh, I don't know which one to address. Ooh, that one right there. Woo! The, yeah, Netflix, man, they know how to give a budget, and that looks pretty good. Some of it looks good in terms of, like, the stuff that happens in space. And then there's those other shots that just kind of, like, throw me off. Um, like, where is it? <laughs> this shot right here, where, okay, this is like a random shot, but where the shot where the flower, the, the rose is being thrown down, I'm like... They're trying really hard to make it look like it's part of the anime. That looks like it's straight out of the anime. And it's got like this weird like filter on it. Which is supposed to be a little like a dream. Obviously, I get it. I've already seen some comments from people saying that the show looks like it has a identity crisis. And I can see what they're saying. Look at three of us. Go grab some bounties. Please, I just want to kill it a little bit. God damn it, Spike. This job. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, man, not to, and I don't want to be harsh on these guys, but, um, John Cho, he looks like Spike. The costume, it's so on point, man. It's good. But I don't know about his line delivery. Something about it, and this is, look, um, I, um, um, I obviously praise, well, I haven't mentioned it, but I praise a Cowboy Bebop dub, and, uh, Steve Blum, like, <laughs> He made the character his own, where I just can't imagine anybody else playing him. Um, so, something about his voice. Like, it's, Blum's voice is just so cool. That it's just, and it's not like I'm seeing John Cho trying to replicate it. I don't buy him as this badass, you know, dude who's chill and like, you know, you know, kind of like carefree like Spike is. But still has the like, you know, darkness to him. It feels like... It was like, maybe there, he shouldn't even have a line like that. It should be just, like, very simple. It's like, something about it, just like, I just want to kill her, man. I'm like, I get it, okay? You don't like women. <laughs> Gotta go on IMDb, damn it. Mustufa Shakir, Shakir? I am gonna butcher this name, sorry. But, um, he looks like he's, um, uh, pretty chill with Jets. But, um, um, still, uh, Bo from, uh, the original voice actor of, uh, Jet. Is just he's he's like Steve Blum. He's just he is the character for me from the original. Danielle and uh, Daniela Pen Panda. Sorry, Panetta. Uh, she looks like she. I mean, she's obviously playing Faye, and um, she looks cool as Faye. I know the costume. They wouldn't probably allow someone to wear the costume on an on on a live action anime, and I honestly think she's okay from her line delivery. Um, Man, there's something about the original voice cast that just sounds so much more lively and cooler. Here, it just seems like they're trying to be cool. And I feel so harsh saying that, because I'm pretty sure maybe they're doing a really good job of incorporating the characters and bringing them to life, but... I don't know, I'm just like, I have a huge attachment to the anime, and maybe that's the case, but something about just how the characters, how the actors are portraying them... I'm not sold on them yet. So overall, my opinion is that they're doing a really good job of bringing the anime to life, but I think they're doing it really almost too well, where it feels like it's almost transcending to just looking like a really good fan film, as opposed to like a basic series. And a lot of it is mostly due to the fact that I feel like a lot of the things they're trying to bring to life just fits better in an anime. But at the same time, Bebop is one of those shows that really lends itself to being something good in live action. So I think once I actually see it, because hey, it's also a trailer, so they could obviously be chopping it up to make it look however way they want. So I, I have to see how it looks like in the first episode and going forward. So yeah, that's my opinion. Like I said, Bebop, still awesome. Netflix show, hope you're just all right.
So those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And um, if you like what I do, uh, check out my other videos. I mostly just do anime reviews, and so you can go ahead and check those out. If you like what I do, if you like my video, please like and subscribe so I can make more. And that's all I got. So, see ya, Space Cowboy. Uh.